and we're here at the ID TechX show. Hi. Hello, I'm Madhu Stemmerman with Sunray Scientific. I'm the CEO. I would like to talk to you about our offerings. We are a conductive adhesive company. We offer solutions. This is a demonstration of our ZTAC ACE anisotropic conductive epoxy. What this shows are the fact that we are attaching to a flexible substrate. We're attaching many components, very small size components, 60 to 70 components on each of these. And with our conductive epoxy, anisotropic conductive epoxy, we're able to do this in one process step. We do not require any pressure and we can actually connect and cure at very low temperatures. So there's a lot of different applications. It can go for flexible displays, connectors, stretchable. You're in all this? Yes. That's the beauty of our technology is we're able to connect to whether it's rigid boards, hard boards, or these flexible substrates. And everyone is looking at flexible wearables, the ability to attach two flexible substrates, lightweight substrates. And with our technology, we're enabling the attachment of components such that you can flex and they don't come off. How does it, how, which part of this are you doing? All of it or some part of it? We're actually the component attachment. So underneath this component is our ZTAC ACE. It's an adhesive that provides electrical connectivity as well as dissipates heat, so it's also thermally conductive. So it's perfect for flexible electronics. It's excellent for flexible electronics. Uh, is this showing some of the stuff that what's inside? Uh, is it nano, nanotechnology or? It, it is nanotechnology, so yes, this is, basically we are a polymer epoxy matrix with ferromagnetic particles and what we do is we introduce a magnetic field in the process during curing that creates the columns to align in the z-axis, in the vertical direction. And uh, have, you been, have you been doing this for a long time as a new technology, new stuff, or? Yes, very, um, very new, very innovative. We are definitely a very unique technology. We've been, in the, we've been doing this uh, technology for 15 years, one five. It's just the last five years that we've actually come out and we have this as a commercially viable solution. I just saw a battery. What are you doing with the batteries? Maybe you can grab this right here. So one of the technologies for flexible, uh, flexible hybrid electronics is the integration of flexible batteries. Uh, so there's a lot of battery attachments and other technologies that have to have lower temperature processing and fine component attachment. That's a battery. So this is a battery. This is designed by a company called ITN. Uh, and what we're doing is we're integrating our Z-axis materials on this so that we can do a pressureless bond because a lot of these batteries, they can't take higher temperatures and they can't take pressure. So by utilizing our magnetic system, a little bit higher. So, so by utilizing our magnetic system, we can actually make these bonds successfully at lower temperatures and without pressure. Uh, so a, a typical, what they call anisotropic conductive adhesive, you're having to do one component at a time and they press down and, and, and utilize pressure to make the connections. With our technology, they don't have to do one component at a time. They can actually do all the bonds and all the interconnections at once using a pressureless system, uh, and that's utilizing the magnetic systems that we've developed. No pressure. Uh, so no pressure, so it's just the, the actual SMT process. It says something like before the cure, this stuff yeah, so happening. Yeah, so before the cure, it is uh, randomly dispersed ferromagnetic particles that are in the matrix. So, so what, is, what is this showing here to here? So this is what the material looks like before the magnetic field is in place. So once you stencil our material or dispense our material it's, and, and place the components, it has all these random dispersed particles in the matrix and the material. As soon as that we put it onto our magnetic pallet before it goes through the reflow process or batch process, 
once it's engaged into the magnetic system, the material gets excited. And during that excitement, it creates electrical interconnections in Z axis. So everywhere in the matrix underneath the components are these highly densely populated ferromagnetic Z axis columns. Uh, so what's happening is, is you're not getting any XY conductivity between uh, different pads or different connections because of this fine column spacing that we have in our column, you know, pre present columns that are in the interconnections themselves. Is this nano size? Uh, so they are, it is a nanotechnology. Uh, so it's a technology that we're integrating for, for the flexible hybrid electronic industry and for industries that are requiring finer pitch and limiting pressure and temperature issues. Uh, so you can be big in RFID and the sensors? So if, when you're looking at the sensors, the X-ray imaging arena, uh, applications of uh, connectors, applications where they're doing uh, flexible hybrid electronics, applications where they're trying to uh, introduce thin dyes, RFID tags. Here? Uh, this here is a, uh, it's an NFC tag that's been developed by Molex. And Molex on this tag is utilizing our Z access materials to actually do all the component placement and the die placement all in one process where they would typically have to utilize two different processes. And what is this? So this is, this is actually, it's, a, it's using a, utilizing a uh, aluminum substrate yeah. and doing a Z access interconnection of a LED array. Uh, so one of the problems is with aluminum is actually making the connections to aluminum because of the oxides. Uh, so by utilizing our technology, we're actually able to use, utilize uh, aluminum substrates and, and, become, and make it become flexible. Nice, and in and, and, and here? So this right here is uh, Molex's, what they call B2B connectors, board to board connectors. Uh, and with ZTAC, we're, we're able to integrate this without having any secondary encapsulants for adhesion because ZTAC offers such great adhesion with, uh, with component attachment and connector attachment, it allows these connectors to actually truly be flexible and have repeatable processes for uh, mating and unmating of connectors themselves. What do you have going on with the lights? So this is a flex LED circuit. And, and, and the reason why we're showing this is this is a printed silver ink circuit utilizing our ZTAC technology. And by doing this, it shows that you can actually have a truly flexible array of LEDs. Uh, because most of the time when you have a flexible circuit, the actual adhesion of the LEDs to the flexible circuit becomes damaged if there's a certain decrease, you know, a certain bend. Uh, so by utilizing ZTEC, we can actually make it a truly flexible circuit array. Do you have a solution that becomes waterproof? Yeah, so, uh, you know, with, with the integration of our technologies, we've developed an encapsulant that's actually a very flexible encapsulant. Uh, so traditional encapsulants are more rigid, so when flexible electronics starts to bend, it actually causes lift off of the components themselves and damage to the traces. So we developed this material that actually encapsulates and keeps it so that the actual material can actually can become truly flexible and actually repel with the water. Uh, so when you're talking about the wearable technologies or maybe technologies that could be utilized in marine applications or applications that are uh, you know, under extreme environmental conditions, utilizing our ZTAC and our encapsulants is a big benefit. ZTAC ACE. All right, so ZTAC ACE is, uh, uh, we came up with that is because we're, we're an anisotrophic conductive adhesive uh, and we didn't want to be categorized with the traditional ACAs and ACFs, uh, ACFs in the market. So we, we, we marketed as an ACE, so an anisotrophic conductive epoxy and in essence ACE. All right, maybe um, with Mike, with the microphone, maybe uh, so, so, so what's next uh, with the company? What, what are you planning to do? Um, is this, this is uh, emerging technology, is it gonna be huge? Absolutely, emerging technologies, the great aspect of our technology is that it can be used across many different areas, medical devices, flexible wearables, uh, consumer, uh, smartphones, uh, you, you name it, many, many different areas, automotive. So um, very, very applicable to many areas. We are also excited. We're gonna be coming up with a UV 
uh, formulation and process such that we can do fast speed roll to roll process for things such as RFID, smart labels, high volume production. So our goal is in the next six months to become uh, at the level of high volume production and um, going across many different sectors than we are today. So where are you based? We are actually based in central New Jersey, Long Branch, New Jersey. And uh, do you already have many partners around the world? We actually do have many partners around the world. We're actually working with more than 27 companies across many, many applications, aerospace, automotive, consumer electronics, RFID, many areas. So basically, or oh, so you just grab the mic, yeah. Basically, we've really geared our technologies based on uh, the flexible hybrid electronic ar arena. Uh, so we've based on our encapsulants, our conductive epoxies, which are lower temperature processing epoxies, uh, epoxies that can actually cure under an hour and at 60 degrees C or less. Uh, and we've integrated our technologies for our ACE and our encapsulants. So uh, when, it's, when you're looking at the flexible hybrid electronics, we're, we're really gearing that towards all of our materials, our family materials, to have great synergy for, for those applications. And uh, the hybrid electronics, where it's hybrid between flexible printed electronics and kind of old-fashioned? Yes. It's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's huge. It's right? huge. So you know, you're looking at uh, you know integration of the you know the newer technologies, the miniaturization of things, uh, the uh, uh, ability to make things flexible, but utilizing the existing technologies for components that are more rigid. So you, uh, you know your, your applications of the truly flexible and hybrid, uh, and bring it all together into a, a working solution.